It's 5.50 and we're gonna be leaving hopefully in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna get the course loaded. Good morning. You wanna go ride your bike like all day with me? Let's go no. ride all night too. <laughs> Let's ride all day and then let's stay up all night and then let's let's just watch for the sunset. Lake, Lake put it pretty well. He's like, this is great because normally you have to like ride and you have to get home so you can go do something. But we're just gonna ride so we can get back on our bikes and ride again. So we can get back on our bikes and ride again. I'm gonna again. put on so much so. chamois cream. Are you guys leaving? band room and, and realizing oh my god all these people are ner and at that moment I realized for the first time I was a nerd. Right now, we're at uh, just over 100 miles and 15 minutes above the fastest average we were predicting. So, at this pace, hopefully, we're in some time before 2 a.m. I'm not even gonna say faster because I don't want to jinx it.
start to see like the freak of each person. Weird size people, huh? Mm -hmm. Apple time. Mm -hmm. What do you agree? Well, I don't know. There's a long story in my bike. What are you eating there? Tofurkey and white bread. I'm feeling weird though. Spinning your legs. Okay, um, I'm gonna start. Don't you need to move your arms that much? It's really pretty easy. Does anybody want anything? Thank you. Yep. It's hurting now. Death, man. Oh, church. The absolute hardest thing I've ever done. I can't feel anything. Oh my god. That was a team effort. Team effort. That could not have happened without everyone. You guys looked really strong with that. Yeah, they were you ripping. Were hauling. You all were yeah. you were moving really fast. I know, it's crazy when you're 300 something miles in and you're still cooking at 20.
I'm 20 years old and I'm riding down this hill in West Seattle and this guy pulls out right in front of me and I go over the, the hood and I'm laying on the ground and he comes out of the car and runs up to me and he leans over me and he says, I don't have any insurance. I swear to God, I said, well, how much money do you got? I, that's completely out of character for me. He pulls out his wallet. He has $1,000, $1,800 in there. And I said, <laughs> yoink, and I took it. I took it and he ran away. And I jumped up. My bike was all bent. So I put my, my foot in the wheel and I pulled the fork back. I rode it home. I couldn't believe it. I was touching the money. Mm. And that is how I bought my first race bike, is with that money. And that's how I got into bike racing.